Noelle Madison with Healthy Places blog Living with Adult ADHD and I wanted to talk about my calendar system because people with ADHD tend to have issues with organization. Some love the challenge but a lot don't. Now I love calendars and I used to have three calendars. One for home, one for work, and one daily planner. I also used to have multiple journals, one for ideas, one for my personal diary, others for random lists, um, but now I mostly just use one calendar on my wall and a bullet journal, which I've mentioned before. A bullet journal is really just um, a regular journal that you can make into a planner. I've mentioned it, yeah, I've mentioned it when talking about tracking certain symptoms, but you can also use it to make all kinds of lists and to make your own calendars. So I tend to make a weekly calendar where, which is more like a daily planner, so I can just write down goals for the week and things that are coming up, and I draw out a monthly calendar that I can fill up. And I tend to use erasable pens, which makes a huge difference. And then the calendar that's on my wall can remain blank and clean and fresh, and I can look at it without getting too confused. Um, and because bullet journals have an index at the beginning where you write down the pages that your different calendars or lists are on, it's pretty easy to keep track of things without getting overwhelmed. So I also advise that next to your calendars or between calendars, you write down lists of ideas and things because people with ADHD tend to have an abundance of ideas, but problems with memory. So let me know what you think in the comments if you have any calendar systems that you really love and keep experimenting until you find something you like and don't be afraid to change it if your circumstances change. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Healthy Places YouTube channel for more information about mental health. Bye!